There is a tattoo parlor nearby that I want to go check out because I might get tattooed while I'm here. And then I'm not so hungry because I've been kind of snacking. So I might get something to eat. I might not. There's the Irish pub. There's the Irish pub. Very close. So that's cool. I believe that the tattoo shop is up this street, take a right, then a left, and then up another block. One thing I've noticed about Torshavn that I didn't realize before is that it is hilly. The clouds have come in when I arrived. It was really sunny and nice. Now it is just cloudy. But from what I have seen, this little town seems cool. It reminds me kind of of Norway. It's kind of like Norway and Iceland, um, which makes sense. There is a lot of Viking blood here. There are a lot of pubs. I see I'm at the Torshall pub. Tuvenhoch pub. I'm gonna just walk around a little bit. But the tattoo parlor, the tattoo parlor should be right here. When I went to look for it on Google Street View, I thought maybe it was closed. Like out of business. Oh, here we go. Looks like they're closed Tuesday through Le Guard Dog. Le Guard Dog. Le Guard Dog. Which I guess is Saturday and then Sunday they're open from 1 to 7. So they're closed on Mondays, which is fine. So I can come back. Tattoo Ole. So that's good to know. And it's what took me 30 seconds to walk to. I kind of want to peek into the pub, see if there's anybody sitting down at the bar, because I'm a big fan of sitting down at the bar. I don't know. Walk around a little more. It's gotten a little nipply out. Oh, here's a sports bar. Live sports, pole darts, PlayStation, food, drinks, and Farsi beer. I am not a beer drinker, but I will have to try Farsi, 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 Farsi beer while I'm here. Farsi. So the Faroe Islands, their biggest industry is fishing. They have a ton of fisheries on the way from the airport to my house uh, here in Torshav. We passed at least four or five fisheries where you could see the circles in the water where they were, you know, harvesting the fish. We also went under a tunnel. So there's a network of tunnels that connect the islands. I think the taxi driver said there's 15 islands, 13, 12, I don't know, but more than two. <laughs> there are several islands and some are connected by bridges and some are connected by tunnels. But considering the entire country has a population of 50,000 people, roughly, give or take, and you have this incredibly modern infrastructure, it's impressive that you have such a relatively small population, but you have this advanced infrastructure. So here we are at the dock. I was looking for an Airbnb in one of these houses when I came here, but I could not find one. Looks like there's some nice restaurants and outdoor seating. This is a bit cold for outdoor seating right now. So I guess you can plug your boat in to get electricity. Now, I know nothing about boating, but boating has always been something I've wanted to know things about. So I'm looking at these boats. First of all, do they have bathrooms? Or is it like, well, one of them might have a bathroom, one of them might not, but do they have bathrooms? Second of all, are these the type of boats that you could take on a cross Atlantic trip, for example? If you were in Portugal and you needed to get to Washington DC, could you take one of these boats? Here I'm in the Faroe Islands. If I needed to take one of these boats back home to the east coast of the US, is that suitable? I would imagine so. Second of all, how much gas do these things use? Is it just like regular unleaded gasoline you put into them? I honestly don't know. 
I know nothing about boats. Is there a special boat gasoline? Who knows? Tath strangliga baneth at kuyar rosk og anath bertarkask ar bringuna ila asog. Ita can berda, no, bertha, sectath, ita havren glugen thini. I have no idea what that meant. Now, it would have been really cool to stay in like, like this place, like one of these places. That would have been really cool. Have a beautiful view, but not everybody has their apartment as an Airbnb. Whoa. There's a rowing team out there. Okay, I gotta be careful. I'm gonna kill myself. Now, isn't the person shouting called a coxman or a cocksmith or a cockold? Maybe that's something else. Quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. And here is a view of Torshaven. Torshaven. Looks like a nice little town. Torchavin's a lot smaller than I envisioned it. Cognitively, I knew there were only about 20,000 people in the city, so I should have known what kind of town it would be, not a big one. But for some reason, uh, it just really, I pictured it a lot bigger. So again, I have so many boating questions. Like, if they do have a bathroom, how do you empty it? Is there like a whole, like, tube that you empty the... The poop tank i mean i suppose in theory you could just let it right into the water right and i would imagine that's probably something that you do at sea because i would also imagine if weather permitting if the toilet is broken you could just hop in the water and do your business there like this looks like a nice boat this this looks like a a, a nice boat here about this one this looks like a practical boat this looks like a married couple are going to have a kid and but they both love the sea and they love both love being at water so this is the boat they buy this is the guy who really just wanted to own a boat could only afford so much money because that's just how life works for most people unless you're elon musk or jeff bezos bro wanted to buy a boat and this is what he got and honestly it's a pretty nice boat this one's a very practical person who saved his money i bet you the person that bought this boat did not finance it bought this boat in cash has taken care of it and that boat's going places and i don't know anything about that boat So a lot of people speak Faroese. I think that's probably what he was speaking. I know how to say ya, ne, which I think is pretty much the same in any Scandinavian Nordic language, basically any language that is between Greenland and Finland in north of Northern England. Just like saying thank you is talk. I know that much too in Faroese. Coffee Husit. I guess this is Coffee House. If I had to guess, but it looks closed. It's Monday, so a lot of things are closed. The tattoo shop was closed, so a lot of restaurants are going to be closed. Looks like there's a burger place over here I want to check out. Being American, of course, I'm going to come all the way to the Faroe Islands just to have burgers. No, I want to check out some Faroese food. Probably not tonight. I am. I'm. I mean, like I have like a third or fourth wind right now, but like I was crashing earlier, and I was like, no, I got to go walk around. So I forced myself to put some clothes on, and I got another wind, but it's not going to last long. It is about 6:30. Let's check out what time it is. It is 6.30 on the, it is 6.30 on the dot. 
So two and a half hours and then I can go to sleep. Hotel Torshaven. Torshaven. All right, let's check out this store here. Circus Foroyar. Circus Foroyar. This is like, okay, you got local beer, juicy bar food, gin and whiskey bar. Circus. I see seats at the bar. I don't see anybody inside, but I do see actual seats at the bar. So that is good. All right, what do we got here? Oh, number one pizza grill house. This looks like good greasy food here. Might be a good place to come for a Jiro. Hero, Hydro, Jiro. Hey, welcome. Welcome, thank you. Sure, sure. Yeah, thank you. Smells really good and it's an excellent location. I mean, you can't beat that location for a little deli kind of burger joint. I will definitely go back there probably tomorrow for lunch. If I was hungrier and I'm like tempted, I'm tempted to just buy food. But I'm traveling, I'm gonna eat. So you got a big boat there. I guess is that a big fishing boat or looks too small to be a cargo ship. Looks too big to be a fishing boat. It's not a cruise boat. So what is it? Somebody was texting me asking me how it is, and I said, it's nice, it's quiet. It's very quiet here. So I think I can get back to my house going up that street. Yeah, because here's the Irish pub. Let's check out Glitner. What's this below it? And the cab driver told me that the Irish pub actually has some decent food. So, again, a place I might want to check out. I should just stay two weeks. Now my body's telling me, you're hungry. Get something to eat. Why don't you get something to eat? No. Phone call. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? What are you doing? 